Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Pisces. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus signs specific. Any Pisces placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. At the end, I will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, Pisces, so I do appreciate your patience. Time is elusive. We are all on different timelines. This could have already happened for you. This could be happening now. Could definitely be more future focused. Okay, we got a flipper here. First card out, strongest energy for you this week is the Two of Wands. Decision made. We also have here the Emperor. And uh, Aries energy could be important to you. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy, heavy emphasis on a fire sign. The Six of Wands, heavy emphasis on a fire sign. The Page of Wands, Sagittarius in particular. One more card, please, for Pisces. Some of you may have fire in your chart that might be activated right now. There's a lot of fire, excitement, passion, progress. And the Queen of, uh, not the Queen, um, the Empress. So now we have a true pair. We have the Emperor and the Empress, which is like a couple goals, quote unquote, right? Bottom of the deck, we're looking at the Ten of Cups. So lots of excitement, lots of passion. Somebody's making a decision here very distinctively. Someone's making a decision to sort of move forward. Enter a new phase of life is the vibe I'm getting. But the goal is the Ten of Cups. This is where this person is trying to head to. This is the destination point. And it seems as though they're very excited to be doing this. I do see this as a partnership of some sort. Probably not business. I don't see any pentacles here. I don't see any cups either. I just see a lot of wands and two people that are very much matched for each other in some capacity, most likely romantic. For some of you, you've been dealing, you already know who this is. This is someone that thinks I've been going great, you know, great, you know, there's trials and tribulations, but you've overcome all of them, especially with the six of wands here. Any sort of bump, any sort of glitch, any sort of challenge, the two of you have overcome it together. And it looks like it's made the two of you a lot stronger together. But it does seem like this emperor is the vibe I'm getting. The emperor is making a decision here. Time to sort of, uh, I feel like, level things up, expand things. Step into uh, another phase of life that this person has not been in before. With this knight of... Um, wands very much giving a new path new journey new phase of life energy that someone is very eager and excited and ready to sort of you know go down and with the page of wands this is also something that's going to be very good news to you there's some sort of communication that's going to be happening here but very exciting some and with the page it's giving me something even though you, you could have been with this person but there's some sort of new level that you're entering that's going to head directly to this Ten of Cups. At least that's the goal, right? We also have the Strength card here, Major Arcana for Leo. So now we have Leo, Sag, and Aries. Could be a timing reference. But someone is um, ready. The Courage is giving me a sense of, um, you know, someone that's ready to step up. Someone that is... Um, working up the nerve almost to maybe communicate something here we also have the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy whoever this emperor is this person has a lot of love for you i don't think you know just how much and i think this is what this communication is about this person sees you as an empress or you see this person as an emperor a lot of love here a lot a lot of love and we have the sun card so there could be babies in your future if that is something you are you know wanting able to do Obviously, it's not for all of you. But with the Emperor, the Empress, and the Sun card, I mean, and the Ten of Cups, for whoever this is resonating with, because it's obviously not going to resonate for all of you. Some of you already have a child with this person. Some of you, there's definitely a potential of having a child with this person. No doubt. But you are there, you know, you, you, you create a very um, abundant, happy feeling for this person. The Ten of Cups and the Sun card. Joy. And it's funny because I said there's no cups. But look, all ten cups. That's why there's no cups. The, the, the little cups don't matter. 
the, the situation is is all ten cups already. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need the page of cups. We don't need the ace of cups. We don't need those little cup situations because we're already at the 10. This person's already at the 10. You are all the cups to this person. Oh, wow. Nine of wands. Yeah. This is someone that doesn't ever want to give up on the situation. Someone that has been through a lot. Most likely this emperor also could be the empress too, both of you. But this is definitely like, I'm in it to win it. I'm in it to win it. And <laughs> speaking of ace of cups... So now we have the ace and the 10. The letter W or M could also be important to you, but we have the ace and the 10. So, I mean, we didn't need it, but just in case you were, you know, skeptical, it's com all the cups. This is literally all the cups. And it does look like this is something that this person is trying to decide for a while. But the two of wands tells me decision has been made. The perception has been seen this person sees you as the empress yeah definitely something this person has been thinking long and hard about lots of major arcana more fire energy with the sage of the temperance this is telling me that someone is definitely realizing that now is the time they are ready this is all about patience this is all about divine timing this is all about balance there's a really good you know if there was lack of balance as i said all the ups and downs i you guys have you guys have you, you got through it you know, obviously this is not for all of you. I know some of you will try and make this fit, but this is our this is this is definitely an existing connection. You know, I don't think you guys have been together all that long, but the time that has been um invested, it's been very uh, this person's looking back like, yeah, uh-huh, I could do this forever. I want to do this forever. If there's any sort of indecisiveness, that's gone. Like you are it, you are this this person seeing you as a true pair. Which is that emperor and empress. Alright, this is a romantic situation for you, Pisces. What is the guidance? Some of you, the both of you already have children. But there definitely could be a potential of new children. We have, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And look, look here, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Just saying. Guidance, please, for Pisces. It's too many. One card for Pisces, please. I see some of you, you're the one feeling this way. You're definitely seeing someone as at least, at the very least, a friend for life. A friend for life. You don't ever want to be, you know, you want to go the long haul with this person. You're looking back and saying, you know, we've been through a lot. We have been through a lot. Honoring adversity. A fire reveals a path of renewed direction once the burning is complete. Now, I swear, this is literally what I've been trying to say this whole time. Because that Knight of Wands is all about new path. And this is what the Knight of Wands is for. This is actually what it represents. Burning path, you know, doing things that we've never done before. Doing something new, right? And all this fire here, the fire reveals a path of renewed direction once the burning is complete to the y'all y'all have been through the fire and this person is realizing yeah i want this for life this is the new path this is what this is bringing me to the realization that i want this person in my corner for a very long time and we have embodying my soul i have the right to be excited i mean it's all over this reading it's funny that those are the two that came out all about excitement this person's very enthusiastic about doing this this is not something you have to force this person to do this is not something that, you know, this is willingly, someone is willingly taking this step happily. And the eight of wands is also a sense of communication movement forward with the six and the two. They're excited. It's like they wouldn't do this. They wouldn't want to do this with anybody else. You know, and it's so much more beautiful that way. When we come to our own conclusions, when someone comes to their own conclusion about you, there's no force confession someone has something to tell you mm -mm. 
I mean, yeah, very much so. That's that Eight of Wands and the Page of Wands energy. Definitely some sort of conversation here. And it has to do with emotions and feelings with this King of Cups. And it's a conversation that someone needed strength to have. Someone might be very nervous too. The Nine of Wands can definitely be a sense of nervous. But they're going to do it anyways. They're nervous, but they're going to do it anyways. They're feeling compelled. Silence, okay, please. For Pisces. One card. Opportunity. And the opportunity is the Ace of Cups. An opportunity to be utterly and completely happy. Even when the hard times... You know, because they will happen. We're humans. This is the this is a part of this stimulation. Hard times. It comes with the package. It's not. It's you can't. You know, it's included. You can't get rid of it. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah. So this is more um, confirmation that there is definitely a deepening of a connection here. All right. That is your reading, Pisces. Hopefully, it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.